okay? Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otzelberg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. Can you guess what Nigel's done? Good man, being suddenly smitten by a fit of apoplexy has departed. Hmm. Better check the back. to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. Has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary, surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Steric, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Steric some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we?
this way. Well, you don't expect me to go Let's alone, go. do you? Take the weapons. Slow down. Driver, to some papers. And don't spare the horses. I thought you and Steric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, oh, you know. He required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jacob. Seeing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering. The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Staric and Co. And you intend to steal it? What? No. I intend... There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starek's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station. Never catch him now. Trickery is this. 
Someday you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Stop now. to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. to make a fuss. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. is to get it some steam. Splendid! 
Garrick will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. Perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Staric's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Fools and hysteric who built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about you? I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Staric interest himself with us? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw he pinched it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She hides down the sewers, sir. Of course it's sewers. Of course it's sewers. Why the bloody sewers?
dead. Stop that impassioned tree. on its way and tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions wasn't Starrick who sent me then who Maxwell Roth sent his regards Why the Alhambra? Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received plan. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. Ah, the fuck. <laughs> Dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Steady on. Shoot! 
of this? Did Roth send you? The villain... Right, lads. That'll be all. Right. You have your villains mixed up, Mr. Raffles. The man you work for is the real villain here. My most fragrant raffles. How very good to see you again. Got a well, Roth. It's into the back with you then. Serves you right. Who is this Lewis that works for you? Ah, a bit of an odd fish, isn't it? Came to me a few years past. Fire when ready. He's very solid, but always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swinehorn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Steric's ties to the police force. That will be all. Yeah. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Doing fine, dear. Easy now. All these bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland Yard. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. That behavior is likely to get you arrested. say what's right and what's wrong.
been a while. You've really let yourself go. Shame. Now, huh? it's into the back with you. Let's go. Yeah. Slow down now. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Alhambra. I have more amusements planned for us. This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starrick's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Starrick. Built a world around his own desires. <laughs> Who's a good horse? You are. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. Something is going on. 
You took a wrong turn somewhere, boy. What's here? Let's get rid of him. That's one. Break him into pieces. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not.
a gift, sir, from Mr. Rock. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. you this evening, gentlemen. What's doing there, love? Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. See, 
Marine 2, stand by! Let me out! I need to lower the grid for the show! You know what? That rock fell if you go angry yourself. No, don't say that. Don't treat any of us right, you don't. We have a volunteer! A big round of applause for this brave, brave man! Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. What a brave soul going up on stage like You that. lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point-blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. <laughs> Exciting, is it not? Will our audience go up? <laughs> we British are a hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. Visualized, math, watering. Enjoy your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear. Burn! 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 Join me for the finale.
darling. What a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? <laughs> A nightmare! I'll never make it out alive. this place from hell to Hackney. has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell, Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. 